Okay, um, quick little video, hopefully quick, on how to go from your Zoom recordings, the videos that you download after you do a Zoom call, um, to Instagram optimized videos. So we're going to jump into Premiere, new project. Um, I'm gonna call this uh, Zoom, Zoom to Instagram. Um, I just leave all the defaults as they are. Um, we're gonna open up and then we're going to grab our Zoom download. So here is the episode that I did with Brad. Now the key thing for Instagram is that it's much more square than any of the videos that you're gonna get back from Zoom because Zoom does almost everything horizontally. If you do it, um, if you do a group Zoom call, some of the screens will be stacked, but most of the time they're gonna be side by side, especially if you just do a one-on-one. -on -one. So for Instagram, it's much better to have them stacked on top of each other. You could potentially do them horizontal with a lot of cropping, but it's much better to have them horizontally um, or vertically stacked on top of each other. So we pull in the video from the call. There we go, it's me and Brad. Um, and what we're gonna want to do is first set up the dimensions for the sequence. The sequence is basically what you're editing here. I mean, that's what they call it. So just don't worry about that. When you're changing the sequence, you're changing basically the format of whatever you're gonna export eventually. So in sequence settings, here you have your frame size. So I change it for Instagram and, Insta and IGTV. Um, it's best to make it uh, a somewhat, it's a rectangle, it's a vertical rectangle, but it's close to being square, but it's still technically a rectangle. So I use the dimensions 540 by 625. Six, 626, okay, uh, apparently this time it's gonna be 626. So as you can see there, it's, it's it's basically it's basically a square, but it's a little bit taller than it is long. Um, we're going to duplicate the video um, by holding Option and pulling up. So now you have two of the videos, and you're going to basically just take each person and put them where you need them. So we're going to go over to the um, position and scale, and we're going to slide this over and first get Brad, and then, now here is where it can get a little tricky. Basically what I'll do is I'm, I'm making Brad the top um, video file, so I'm gonna slide that over so I can see underneath the video that still has both of us. I'm gonna bring my video over into frame and then bring that up and then bring Brad's video back in so we can see both of them. See, so now here's the issue. Brad's video is more than just his video. It's also this black space that Zoom captures. So what we're going to need to do is jump down into the effects panel and just type in crop. Under transform, you've got crop. I'm gonna pull it onto Brad's and then scroll down in the effects controls and we're going to crop from the top so we're just going to grab this and scroll and you see it crops so you can crop them all the way out or you can crop them to right in the middle middle-ish there we go so now we actually have two videos on top of each other with a portion of it cropped out one of these <laughs> you're just like <laughs> editing yourself funny, yeah. But you can make yourself look good. We'll add just a placeholder for subtitles um, because you definitely always subtitle your videos. So subtitles go here. So now you have um, side by side, actually, you know, top by bottom, if that's what you call it a vertically oriented video um, from your Zoom call where they were typically horizontally. Um, so this may not work out perfectly for you every time. I've um, the, the proportions that I'm using lend themselves fairly easily for whatever Zoom gives you to just go right on top of each other without all that much cropping. All I really needed to do was crop one video. Um, but 
in the cropping tool, you can do um, left, right, um, top and bottom, and, and you just have to scroll to the right percentages, and then you can duplicate those percentages if you have to, do, if you have to crop more than one part, portion of it. Um, and then from there, um, we can uh, export, um, see, now this is like a gigantic, uh, this is like a longer interview, but you know, you can just cut up to the places that you want. Um, and once you fully subtitle your video, just uh, a simple export, I'm just gonna export a uh, smaller portion of this. Um, hit I for in, hit out for here, file, export media, you can name it. Um, this is zoom to IG test to my downloads, export. I made it super short, so it should export fairly quickly. In my downloads. But yeah, I appreciate exactly. that. And um, so now, if it's I'll over a minute long, you now have what's optimized for the Instagram feed. But if it's over a minute long, you're going to need to make a version for IGTV because IGTV either lets you post horizontal or completely vertical. So what we're going to do now is open up a new sequence. I'm going to call this zoom to IG vertical. And that's basically just going to open a new tab down here with a new panel to do. Uh, uh, basically, you could start an entire entirely new video editing here. And what we're going to do is now set the sequence settings to what is optimal for IGTV, which is 540 by 960 or 1080 by 1920. This is just uh, half of that. I use half because it just seems to be more closer to what the sizes of the actual videos that you get from Zoom are, so you don't have to stretch them out. So we're going to edit in 540 by 1960. We're going to take what we exported and just pull it right in. Um, it'll give us a little warning. Um, and ask us if we want to change the sequence settings. We don't want to change the sequence settings because that's going to put us back into that rectangular box. We want to use what we just set up here for um, IGTV. And then you see it centers it perfectly. It puts it right in the middle. Um, you now have a vertical video that you can use um, for IGTV. You can put a background in. You can add whatever you want in these bars. You can leave it black. That's fine. Um, so we're just going to export that whole thing. And you see there, it'll, it'll keep the name of what you called the sequence. So it's already zoomed to IG vertical, export. Let it get in there. So now you can see. But yeah, uh, I appreciate that. that. And um, so you can I, well, IGTV I know you do a lot of stuff with drones, and we'll talk about that in a second. Instagram, but overall, you'll have the optimal size for an Instagram video that'll just show up in the feed. It'll actually because it's because we scaled it 540 by 625, it, you won't see any of the black bars in Instagram. You will see them in IGTV, but that's sort of how IGTV is designed. So that is how you go from Zoom to Instagram.